I, you know, Teresa is extremely loyal, right? We saw that with Joe Judice, right? She's loyal, loyal, loyal to the end, but her daughters are older. And I think, you know, that reunion to me, I think as watching was pretty devastating to Louie. Now we'll get into like, if you think the Britney John Fuda thing, like if, if you think John Fuda is lying, right? But I wouldn't be surprised if those girls sat her down and said, mom, we've known him now going on two years. The There are huge red flags. This is like not good. You need to get out. Because I think the only, she's mo- most loyal to her daughters, right? She's going to do everything to pro- like to protect them. I mean, it's just looking like he's a scammer. I mean, I, I feel like they could sit her down and say, you have to go. Now, the, I could see the opposite too, because I cannot believe really now what, what's being revealed that she didn't sign a prenup. I cannot believe it after everything she went through with Joe Giudice and the, the her brand and how much she's worth. So the other thing I can see is her just being like, I'm in it and I'm in it, you know, and I'm going to stay in it with this guy through law. But I, if the girls and one of them is going to law school, Gia wants to go to law school. If they begin to see the writing on the wall and you're talking, you know how you, you know how expensive it is to sue somebody, to be in a lawsuit, to be sued. It is, or litigated, it is so, you have to have deep pockets to go on and on. I mean, I I don't know. I see her girl sitting her down and say, mom, you have to get out now before the pizza oven comes out, before, you know, like we're in two more seasons in and he's beat somebody up because he couldn't stop. You have, like, I don't know. Do you think any of that rings true? Are you done now? Yes. (laughs) Do you feel good? Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> um, I, mean, I don't know uh, shit, but I'm just saying it. I feel uh, nothing of the sort is happening. I feel, no. Teresa and Kim feels the same way. Teresa does not get out. I feel if, you know, listen, Teresa and Juicy, a huge part of their demise really was that her mom passed right shortly after she got out of jail. And she couldn't get over that, you know, with... I mean, also being away from each other, but, you know, she couldn't get over that time that she lost at the end with her mother, even though she had the final months, but that was it. No, Teresa does not leave. She just, she is loyal. The girls love him. Maybe if the four daughters sat down and had an intervention, maybe, but I don't even know. I I mean, but that, that, I don't know. That's not going to happen. They're all cut from the same cloth. No, I don't believe any marital problems. I am not a tree hugger. I don't, I'm not going to even keep saying that. I don't need to justify myself to anyone. I mean, I love that everyone thinks I'm a tree hugger. I mean, yeah, Um, that is just the craziest thing I've ever heard. I, I don't believe it. She's not going to leave ever. No, nope. she is going to stand by this guy till the end. And I think even if all sorts of things come out about he did this and what, and I'm not even so sure if he's such a, bad guy you know we're going to get into that other side of the couch and all these receipts that we didn't see and but regardless of that i i i i know no i don't believe any of it and i don't think she's gonna ever leave him i don't think she's preparing i think this is it she is in love head over heels doesn't she's not engaged in all this drama. I mean, that's the thing. Melissa is so invested in this. She is, she has the bots and the finstas and Marge. I mean, do you realize like we just how we started the show? All of that, all of that. I have given it no more thought. I've been interviewing celebrities, charting, doing the Patreon, preparing for another ABC Randall scandal. That's not what it is. It's something totally different. Like I, I like these people, Melissa, Margaret, some others, they, they sit in this with Finstas and paying off. Margaret paid a D-list blogger $500 Starbucks gift card. So the woman would say something, all the say all good things about her, whatever the woman's name is. It's like, this is their life. Can you imagine your life is this cesspool? This is, this is to- real toxic shit that, that, that. This has to eat away at you. This this is your whole life is in the phone and who's saying it's sick. It's sick. So Teresa is living her life 
you're showing a picture of the happy she couple. She looks through. so gorgeous. They look gorgeous. Is she on Ozempic? She loves him. She has to be on Ozempic. Yeah, right? she's, yeah. Awesome. she's on. Oh, well, I think she's on the generic semi-glutide shots. Yes. Um, which I am on, which I'll get into in a second. Um, no. So I don't believe any of that at all. So as far as that goes, no, I don't believe it. Um, mm. I heard a rumor that, I mean, she can't be this dumb. Margaret cannot be this dumb, but I heard a rumor. Now I don't know if this is true because we say this. I heard a rumor that Margaret is going to Bravo. And she has already started saying, I don't feel comfortable. I feel like Louis threatened me when I was sitting on that couch. No. And I don't feel comfortable filming with him. Now, I mean, is she an idiot? Because like how, I mean, look, I had this conversation with Kim recently. Margaret is not dumb. I really think she does. She thinks who, who she is, as Kim says. I mean, does Margaret not realize that she is probably in like the number one seat out of a full-time housewife to probably lose her job going forward. Is she that like cocky and self-involved that she doesn't realize that going to Bravo executives and saying, I don't want to film with anybody at this point, but now you're pointing to the person who's married to like the star of the show and you don't want to film with them. And I understand what your move is, sweetheart, but how do you think that this is going to end well for you over Teresa and Louie? I don't know if this is true. It is not. I'm trying to confirm this. But knowing Margaret, having been friends with her, I could see her doing this. But girl, guess wow. what? Let me give you some advice, Margaret. This is for old times, for when we were friends. Girl, you really have overplayed your hand. If, I mean, you've already overplayed it. But cease and desist. Don't speak to Bravo no more, girl. Because if that's what you're doing, that you're not, you're, you're, you're threatened, you're not going to film with Louie, honey, you're basically helping put the nail in your own coffin. This is my career advice to Margaret. Step away from the, the Finstas and, and just stay off social, Margaret. Run your caviar, tuna fish, whatever the hell the damn podcast is. It's her podcast or something. No, oh. I'm not being like. So it's like, oh, does she have a caviar company? Yum. No, uh, no. she wishes. <laughs> That bitch doesn't know oh, what that, sounds good. that bitch oh. don't know what caviar tastes like, honey. Um, she's from the wrong side of the tracks. Um, well, so sorry. am I, but you know, I love a little I I'm know, with Kathy, I know, you know. I, I mean, know. I love but listen, a little, uh, you love a little caviar. I mean, oh, oh my I, God. I, it's loaded it up it's, with sour cream on a potato. It is delicious. See, I like it just the caviar with like the little, just no sour cream, a little of the onion, delicious. Um, Ideally from Petrosian in the city. Uh, what was I going to say? So uh, that's okay, the rumor I heard. Advice. Okay. That I, I, hey, I'm trying to help. See, see how kinds I'm being today. Margaret, cease and desist saying that. Look, you know what I could see? You know what I could see? I could see them saying to Teresa, like, you know, Louie's going to take a back seat next season.